Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are going to take uh, another look at the Knight Pegasus 35 turbos. Uh, this is going to be a review of how they are faring up. Um, it should have been a 100 mile review. It is actually a review after 350 miles. Uh, so without further ado, let's get cracking on with this one. Um, so this is it, this is the Knight Pegasus 35. Um, I got these in July of this year. Um, after much review work online, either through YouTube videos or reading comments through uh, different running sites, uh, asking for people's opinions. Uh, I was wearing a pair of ASICs that I'd been wearing for quite a number of years and they were absolutely battered. Um, and time had come to replace them. Uh, so I did a lot of looking. Uh, I was a bit late on this one, uh, getting involved with the Pegasus 35 as uh, come July, they were coming towards the end of their um, shelf life, if you like. Um, but I managed to get a pair uh, cheaper than the retail price. So I thought, let's give it a go uh, and see how they fare up. Uh, so as you can see, um, these are reasonably decent knit. You can see that they've been worn in now though, obviously uh, 350 miles. There has been uh, a number of different runs that I've done with these, anything ranging from 5K park runs, uh, five miles, 10 miles, um, and I've done half marathons in them. Um, the most recent being the Manchester Half Marathon, which, um, I did this Sunday and I have to say it's fared very well I'm very pleased with it still um, the difference between this and my old trainers night and day maybe that's because I over use the ASICs I kept them for too long I think it was around about a thousand miles when I got rid of them so I mean they were pretty knackered by the end of it um, Took the decision to get these and like i said the difference is night and day uh, the first difference was the actual weight of them uh, now it's quite a light shoe uh, a lot lot lighter than uh, my previous trainer and that instantly just felt better for me uh, a lot of people say that the night is quite a narrow fit along here uh, and there's a lot of pinching you can find it rubs sometimes i personally think that these are very very good for me uh, these are a uk size 12 and i think they fit very very well um this all comes down to things like the flyby system which again which locks in uh, on the shoe but it also gives the room for expansion if you like so i mean these are as you can see stretchy stretchy wires and then I found that as my feet swell during the run, as they're getting hotter, it, the shoe just kind of opens up a bit, but it's still hugging onto your, onto your foot, uh, which I find really, really good. Because on the other ones, you can feel when, you, when your feet are swelling up and it's just getting tight and tight and tight, and, and then your feet start to ache. I don't get that with the Nikes, um, so I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, these have been out in all sorts of weather from uh, baking hot sunshine to gale force winds to torrential downpours um, one of the more recent ones i was literally half a mile out of the door and the heavens opened and i was on a 13 mile run and i just carried on so 12 and a half miles later these were absolutely drenched gone and dried out and they just feel exactly the same again. Brilliant. All the water seems to uh, come out of them and they just feel as as good as the last time I put them on. Um, as you can see on the 35 Turbo, we have this kick on the heel. And you can see there this ridge. Now that's because it's made up of two parts on this foam. You've got the Zoom X foam. Um, and then I think it's the reacts underneath um, but you can see that it is actually made up of two parts now luckily mine is just showing a ridge I've heard that other people's it's starting to separate now whether that's just come from normal wear and tear or I mean 
with this lip, you find that some people take the shoes off by putting the foot on the other one, taking it off that way. That'll just keep wearing away at that. Um, but for me, everything's holding up well. Uh, you can see that there's slight, it's like cracks appearing or where it's squeezed in. You can see what just there for just trying to manipulate it a little bit, but that's just where it's where it's working. Uh, underneath, I have to pardon the muck and whatnot, but generally the wear on this one is minimal. Like I say, I've done 350 miles on these and they still feel just as good. Very, very slight wearing towards these edges, but nothing major. Um, let's take it over to the other side and you can see again, just a few creases, if you like, rather than cracks, of where the uh, of where the shoe is flexed. Um, so this, for me, is still an outstanding shoe. Um, I've not taken it any further than thirteen miles uh, as of now, which is October of twenty nineteen. I will start to begin my training for uh, April marathons, and. Whether this is going to be the shoe that takes me there, I'm not 100% sure. Like I say, I've not taken it any further than 13 miles currently. So if anyone has any suggestions of a good marathon shoe or whether this will be a good marathon shoe, can you please let me know in the comments below? That would be really, really helpful. Um, I'm still going to be continuing with these. I do mix this up with the Pegasus 35 Trail as well, so I'm not putting all my focus on just this one pair of shoes. So I am um, trying to uh, alternate them slightly. Um, I will do a review on the Pegasus 35 Trail another time. Um, but as it is, like, like you can see there, a decent shoe that's not really showing any or excessive shows of wear and tear. Um, still comfortable, still performing well. Um, with the Zoom X Foam, it gives you the confidence to run that little bit faster. I think my biggest problem at the moment is trying to slow myself down. Every time I go out in these shoes, it makes me want to run fast through confidence rather than just you know making me do it. Um, but yeah, I, f I feel good in this shoe. I feel secure in this shoe. I must admit, since I've had this one, I do not suffer from any blisters whatsoever. Maybe that's a personal thing, or maybe that's just for everybody. Again, if you can comment below, that'd be great. Um, but like I say, this particular shoe I find really, really good so far. Um, we're going to take it on some longer runs, see how it holds up, see if it is the one that um, that's going to take me to that marathon pace um, and hopefully get me to that marathon, or whether this is just going to be for short and mid runs. Um, Thanks a lot for watching everyone. Uh, I'll try and make a, another one soon and keep you updated how the training's going. Thanks a lot for everything. Cheers. Bye.